Welcome to Ventrack by Venture Products Incorporated. This program has been developed to give Ventrack operators basic information to properly and safely operate their Ventrack 4000 series tractor and attachments. Although this video will cover a wide range of features, basic safety, maintenance, and operational procedures, Ventrack always recommends that you read and fully understand the operator's manual before attempting to operate your Ventrack equipment. The manual covers items and procedures specific to your equipment, adjustment specifications, types of fluids to use, and maintenance intervals. The operator's manual is located inside the canister behind the seat. See your authorized dealer for determining options and accessories for your tractor. Here is a list of some features and controls on your Ventrac 4000 series tractor. All-wheel drive, articulating and oscillating frame, powerful, commercial duty air and liquid cooled engines, gas, diesel, or propane. Parking brake, hydrostatic drive, power steering, fold down roll over protection system or ROPS, seat belt, six gallon fuel tank, storage box, cup holder, two inch receiver hitch, light switch, seat slide lever, Ventrac mount system for front hitch attachments, Attachment lock lever, PTO belt tension lever, front auxiliary hydraulic quick couplers, choke for gasoline engines requiring a choke, high and low range shift lever, neutral assist lever, electric PTO with brake, throttle lever, SDLA control lever, weight transfer lever, hydraulic cooler fan switch, Circuit breaker and battery disconnect. Fuel shutoff valve. Plug and play wire harness for easy installation of accessories. Computer controlled onboard diagnostic system to accurately diagnose electric circuits in real time. Information cluster gauge displaying the tachometer, speedometer in both miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Fuel gauge, hour meter, temperature gauge, for engines that are liquid cooled, glow plug indicator light for diesel engines, warning cluster gauge to provide visual and audible feedback for voltmeter, parking brake indicator, low engine oil pressure, high water temperature, high hydraulic fluid temperature, low voltage, ignition key, off position, on or run position, and start position. When starting diesel engines, turn the ignition key to the on position and light will come on. When it shuts off, proceed to start the engine. The light will come back on for a few seconds after startup. After starting your tractor, allow a minute or two of warm up time for the engine and hydraulics before beginning operation. Allow additional time in extremely cold weather. Throttle lever to set engine RPMs. Parking brake. With the parking brake lever engaged, the brake is applied and the SDLA lever is locked out. The brake lever must be in this position when starting the tractor. With the parking brake lever disengaged, the SDLA lever is no longer locked out. The SDLA is the primary control for the tractor and consists of two parts. The front taller lever controls travel speed, direction, and front lift of the tractor. The shorter rear lever controls the auxiliary hydraulic circuit through the front quick couplers. To operate speed and direction, the parking brake must be disengaged and the operator must be seated in the seat. The distance the lever is moved forward or backward determines the ground speed of the tractor and the direction it travels. Moving the taller lever to the left raises the front hitch, the right lowers the hitch. Hitch flotation is obtained by continuing the movement to the right until the detent locks the lever in the float position. This allows the front attachment to move up and down independently of the tractor when mowing, blading, or when this function is desired. Neutral assist lever. With the parking brake disengaged, and the neutral assist lever in the on or auto position, the tractor will operate in return to neutral mode. In this mode, 
When the operator's hand is released from the SDLA lever, the neutral assist spring will help return the SDLA control levers to the neutral position. This is the recommended position when learning the operation of the Ventrac. Loading and unloading, attaching and removing attachments, and whenever the operator is working in tight areas or unsure of the tractor's response to the task being performed. With the parking brake disengaged and the neutral assist lever in the off position, the neutral assist spring is disengaged. Moving the SDLA lever forward allows the tractor to be operated in the easy shift mode. This position is often used for operating the tractor in open areas where travel speed and direction are relatively constant and control is easily maintained. Easy shift reduces operator arm fatigue when using an attachment requiring frequent forward and reverse motions for a prolonged period of time, such as when pushing snow. Stopping the power unit with the neutral assist lever in the off position requires the operator to manually return the SDLA control lever or foot pedal to the neutral position. Remember, never leave the seat of the tractor without first engaging the parking brake. Engaging the parking brake locks the SDLA lever so the tractor cannot be moved. In low range, the lever is in the forward position. High range is the rear position. Low range should always be used when performing tasks which require a significant amount of power such as digging, blading, pulling heavy loads, or operating on slopes. High range may be used for tasks which do not require substantial power such as transport, general mowing, and leaf blowing. Before shifting from one range to another, always move the tractor to a level surface. Never shift from one range to the other while under load, moving, or on a slope. Always confirm that the high-low shift lever is completely engaged into the locked position at the ends of the shift stroke. A forward or backward movement of the SDLA lever or a side-to-side -side rotation of the steering wheel may be required to complete the engagement of the transaxle gears and allow the lever to move into the locked position. If the tractor needs to be moved without the engine running, it is important to remember to place the high-low shift lever in the neutral position located in the middle of the shift stroke. With the shift lever in neutral, the tractor can freewheel when the parking brake is disengaged. Use extreme caution and only push or tow for a short distance and at slow speeds. Failure to place the high-low shift lever in neutral will result in damage to the hydraulic system. To install the attachment, disengage the attachment locking lever by lifting the safety lock and sliding the attachment locking lever to the left and lifting. Lower the tractor front hitch and drive the tractor forward slowly to engage the arms with the attachment hitch arms and raise the hitch until the arms are parallel and complete the engagement. Engage the attachment locking lever. Install the drive belt and hoses if required. The PTO belt tension lever must be out when installing the PTO belt. After installing the belt, engage the lever by pushing in. Power takeoff or PTO switch for engaging the electric clutch drive that powers the front mounted attachment. To remove the attachment, park the tractor and remove hoses and drive belt as required. Release the attachment locking lever and back away from the attachment. Be sure to follow attachment specific instructions located in each attachment manual. Additional attaching and detaching information will be shown in the attaching video. Weight transfer lever. The weight transfer system allows the operator to transfer a percentage of the front mounted attachment weight onto the tractor. Transferring weight from the attachment to the power unit improves traction, hillside stability, aids in lifting, reduces steering effort, and lessens the attachment resistance movement when in contact with the ground. The position of the weight transfer lever determines the amount of weight being transferred from the front attachment onto the tractor, where zero is no weight transfer and four is maximum weight transfer. To set the amount of weight transfer, fully raise the front hitch to release any tension on the weight transfer spring. Lift the weight transfer lever and place into the desired weight transfer setting. Remember, Weight transfer is only functional when the front hitch is in the float position. Selecting the proper amount of weight to transfer depends on the attachment being used.
ground conditions, and operator preference. A lightweight attachment, such as the KA160 power blower, will stay up when in the float position with full weight transfer on. With full weight transfer on and mowing in the float position, the mower may not go down quickly enough when cresting a knoll or mowing uneven lawn. Weight transfer must be reduced or speed must be lowered. Using full weight transfer with the slip scoop will allow the tractor to lift more weight. However, down pressure must then be used to lower the scoop when empty. The biggest value of the weight transfer system is best realized when mowing on slopes. With weight transfer, traction, stability, and performance are increased. Fuel shutoff valve to control the flow of fuel to the power unit engine. Turning the valve to position one will allow fuel to flow to the engine. Turning the valve to position zero shuts off the fuel flow to prevent fuel leakage when changing fuel filters or servicing the fuel system. Turn off the fuel shutoff valve when transporting the power unit on a truck or trailer and when parking the power unit indoors. Circuit breaker and battery disconnect to control power to the entire electrical system. Turning the switch to position one enables the electrical system, allowing for normal use of the power unit. Turning the switch to position zero disables the electrical system, allowing electrical components to be serviced for additional safety when storing the power unit. Turn off the electrical system whenever storing the power unit indoors. It is a safe practice to always turn off the electrical system when the tractor is not in use. The hydraulic oil cooler fan switch is normally set to the automatic thermostatically controlled position. This allows the thermostat to turn on the cooling fan when the hydraulic fluid reaches the set temperature. The switch can be set to reverse position to pull air through the oil cooler and discharge warm air next to the operator. This feature can be used to help provide warmth for the operator during cold weather. The most important task for operating the Ventrac and its attachments in a safe and productive manner is to read and understand the operator's manual and to follow the procedures and recommendations. This video does not replace the operator's manual. The operator's manual must be read and understood prior to use. Before operating the Ventrac, make sure you and the equipment are prepared to work. Follow the daily service checks outlined in your operator's manual or on the decal underneath the engine hood. Other periodic maintenance procedures are covered in the operator's manual and should be performed on a regular schedule. Inspect machine before operation. Be sure guards and shields are in good condition and secured in place. Repair or replace any damaged, worn, or missing parts and make any necessary adjustments. Before each use, Verify that all controls function properly and inspect all safety devices. Do not operate if controls or safety devices are not in proper working condition. Check park brake function before operating. Repair or adjust if necessary. Test the operator interlock system daily. Wear a certified ear protection device to prevent loss of hearing and safety glasses while operating the Ventrac. Wear proper clothing and closed toe shoes. Always wear a seat belt and operate with the ROPS bar in the upright position. After you have completed your tasks and returned the tractor to where it will be parked, engage the park brake and allow a few minutes for the engine to cool down before turning it off and removing the key. This concludes the tractor operation section of this program. It is recommended that after reading and understanding the operator's manual, practice by driving the tractor with an attachment on a level surface to become familiar with the controls, their operation, and the response of the articulating frame and steering. Give yourself ample time to know the tractor before you begin performing your tasks. For additional information, technical specifications, or training resources information for all Ventrac equipment, see Ventrac.com support. You have now been given the basics for operating your Ventrac. We trust this program will make your Ventrac experience a safe, enjoyable, and productive one. For more information about Ventrac, see your authorized Ventrac dealer or visit us at Ventrac.com. Ventrac, your one tractor solution. Watch more of Ventrac in action by clicking on a link below or subscribe to our channel and get the newest video releases.